My name is Rafi Media Villa from criticologos.com. Thank you, Aaron, for taking a little bit of time to talk about the series. I loved it. I was completely surprised. I'm blown over it. I'm blown over it. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me. So um, let's talk, I mean, you have some, some, so many things to talk about, and I don't want to delve into the specific details, you know, into the spoiler. But um, I, I think I'm going to talk about Becky's mindset. She's going through a lot with mom and sister, obviously. And she's infatuated with this person in social media. Would would you say can we can we say that we agree with what she's doing? Uh, what's her mindset with what, what, what she's going through? I think I do I do completely agree with every decision she makes. And I think as an actor, I had to back her. I had to, like you say, figure out exactly why she's making these decisions and and what headspace she's in. And for me, the real the real catalyst for why I think she behaves this way is her relationship with her mum. I think, like most people, I think our relationships with our parents really form who we are. And I think before the, the I'm not going to give any spoilers, but you know that her mum has early onset and you know that Becky is inevitably going to have to be her full-time carer. And Becky is desperately running from that situation. I think it terrifies her and that forces her to latch on to Chloe and this obsession around what this person meant to her at, at one point in her life. And that is why she chooses to become completely infatuated with it because it, it's just, it represents the time in her life that she was happy. I know a lot of people don't relate to, to Becky and, and her shoes. And I wonder, um, did you, did you see yourself in any of her situations? Did you did you relate to her in any other situations? Because to me, this is so 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 real today. Yeah, I, I completely relate to Becky, and that's why I was so desperate to to be a part of the show. I think I I I know what it is to to feel isolated, and and I know what it is to not like yourself. And I think putting that on screen is so important. I think along with social media, there's there's so much pressure to to be happy all the time and actually it's it's okay to know that you don't have to be and and it's quite an unrealistic thing to try and achieve and I think by highlighting that it just kind of normalizes what it what it is and all the difficulties that it is to be a human being and to to just reach out and say it's okay to be battling with these things. You mentioned social media, that's going to be my second question because it's at the center of the story from beginning to end. And social media, whether we like it or not, is part of our lives today. Yeah. I wonder what, what, what did you expect? What do you want or do you expect people to take away from the series once they see it? I hope that people maybe assess their relationship with social media moving forward. If, if they watch this show, I hope that it can just highlight a little bit that our relationship with it has has gone a bit sour, I suppose. I think we're very dependent on it at the minute. And I, and I think across generations, it's so easy and understandable that, that we are so addicted. Like it's literally made to be addictive. But what I hope people take away from this show is, is that they, they do have a choice and you can choose, even if it's just like a two day detox or one day detox, it's, it's a perfectly valid choice to go, I'm not going to partake in that today and and you have the ability to do that Erin that's time for me again I, it's a pleasure to be talking to you too I, it's a pleasure to, be, to see this see, see, see this. I love it, love it and thank you you, you blew it out of the park I love you then. thank you so much it was so lovely to talk to you